Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lovely, easy to make dessert made from biscuits and condensed milk, making a lovely caramel dessert. Really tasty, so I hope you enjoy it. And just to apologise to a few people that I haven't been around for a few weeks to do a video. I've just had some bits and pieces going on um, but I'm back now and I'll be doing a weekly video again for you. So I really enjoyed this video. I haven't done one for a couple of weeks so it's nice to get back into doing it again and I'm just going to have a lovely cup of tea and with that cup of tea I'm going to get stuck into one of these. Look at that caramel, the biscuit at the bottom and a lovely bit of chocolate. Um, if you do want to subscribe, please do it free of charge and it will help support the channel. And please tell your friends about it, share it with social media and ask others to subscribe. That would be great so that other people will get to hear about the channel. And if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Right, so I'm just going to be using a, quite a small tin and I've got one of these tins where you've got the bit at the side and you just pull it. And then it comes up it just makes it easier if you've got one of these these are perfect and so that it doesn't stick at the bottom you want just a bit of parchment paper okay and then you just draw around where you want to to cut just roughly and then just cut your circle out doesn't have to be perfect just stops the the base of this lovely caramel dessert from sticking and then we'll just put this back on here and you just push that so it's nice and tight. Now we've got 100 grams of digestive biscuits here but you can use whatever biscuits you like. You can either put your biscuits in a food processor or you can just put them in a bag like this. Just spread them out so you've got but not on top of each other and then maybe just give them a little bang on each biscuit just to start breaking them up. Just makes it easier for rolling and then you just simply roll and it crushes the biscuits up. It takes two minutes and it saves you washing the food processor out. And then I just gather up all the, the crumbs. I just pour all the crumbs into my bowl, ready to add some melted butter. So now here I have some melted butter and I'm going to add two tablespoons of syrup. You don't have to do this, you could just use butter but I find it binds together a bit better if you've got a bit of syrup and of course it gives it a lovely flavour too and then you just mix that with a spoon and then you simply add your syrup and melted butter to your biscuits and mix well I find use a metal spoon it's the best way to do this so that it gets combined together with the syrup and the butter so you can see it changes colour as you do that and it actually smells really nice then you simply put the biscuit mixture into your tin and you just spread that around and just squash it down with a spoon and then it becomes nice and solid and this will set so it'll be nice and hard so that's the base and then if you want to make sure it is nice and solid you can get a glass but make sure it's flat underneath don't get one that's not flat and just simply put a bit of pressure and so it's as nice and solid as it can be. And now I'm just going to keep this in the fridge for about half an hour. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go into a frying pan or a pot. You're just going to pour your condensed milk. I love the look of this. I'm like a child with this one. I love watching the patterns as you pour it out. I'll just get a spoon just to get the last bits out of it. And you want this on a low to medium heat. And you literally just keep stirring it. This will take a little while and it will change colour slightly. So I'll show you in a little while how this is looking. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, you'll feel that it is starting to change colour ever so slightly. And you will feel that it's thicker. And so make sure you get the edges as well as stirring around in the middle. And you can see these odd little bubbles appear every now and then. Okay, so with this, you can cheat and buy a can already caramelised um, and just put that on your biscuit base. Another option is you can 
boil the can for about two hours and just keep checking your water every now and then to make sure it doesn't disappear or you can do it this way which is the quicker way if you are making the camera yourself and that's just to keep stirring it so that it doesn't burn and just let it go nice and thick and let it change colour which should take between 20 minutes and half an hour right as you can see now as you kind of bring that away it's not sticking to the pan anymore so that's kind of like a, a toffee kind of stage more caramelized stage so it's very thick and it's all kind of coming together and around the edges as well it's not kind of sticking to the edges anymore if you gather it up it will come away so when it gets to that stage and you can see it's like a an orangey browny color it's, you know if you kind of you can almost turn it like it's quite solid now that's the stage where you want to put it onto the base of your biscuits you can kind of see it kind of coming around it looks like toffee it looks so yummy and i'm getting hungry with the smell of it i'm so looking forward to this dessert right and i'm just going to go and get the biscuit base out of the fridge so just gather up all your caramel and put it to the one side of your pan and then because it will set very quickly because you're putting it onto something cold i'll just get a metal spoon take the caramel off the wooden spoon and then simply as quickly as you can spread that around now, if you cook the caramel for longer or the condensed milk for longer you'll get a darker color so if you want the light color cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes if you want it darker just cook it for a bit longer and we'll let that cool for a good 10 minutes before we put some chocolate on okay now again make sure it's not too hot if you've got a little bit on your spoon let that cool and then you can have a little taster Mmm, that's lovely. Mm. Now we're going to add some chocolate on the top of this. So between the biscuits, the chocolate, and this lovely toffee caramel condensed milk. Mmm, really nice. Right, so we have a pot of boiling water, and then I've got a bowl with some chocolate in. It can be any chocolate. It can be dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, whatever it is you decide. And we're just going to let that melt. So as you can see, after about five minutes in the bowl, the chocolate is melted nicely. You can do this in microwave, but sometimes some bits of it cook more than the others and sometimes it can burn a little bit. So I personally prefer to do it the old fashioned way and just do it in a bowl. Now I've got one of these little silicon things, which is great for picking up things that are hot. You could use a tea towel or an oven glove, but I love these little things. So I'm just going to take this over now. Now be careful when you pick this up in case you get any steam from the pot underneath okay having some left in the bowl because it's more for somebody to lick and we just spread this about and then we'll let the chocolate cool for a little bit maybe 10 minutes or so and then we put it in the fridge and let the chocolate set right so i'm just going to undo this little bit here and then i'm going to just go around the edge with a knife okay so that's broken the seal so then i can just lift this off and you can see how delicious this looks. Now I've only just done one layer on this particular one. But you can do a second layer. So you can do another layer of caramel and another layer of chocolate. And then put some cream on. And decorate it with Smarties and Flake. Which I'll show you in a minute how to do that. But this, this is a lovely dessert as it is. Now I'll put the paper underneath so this will be easy to pick up. You just literally put your knife up. And it comes away because it's had the paper underneath. So I'm going to put this upside down and take this paper off see how easy that is and what I'm going to do as well because if you cut this this way up the caramel can be quite tough to cut and the biscuit base will be softer so a tip would be to put it upside down and then cut like this do you need a good sharp knife for this just turn this around and that is the best way to cut it so here is your lovely dessert as I said you can put the double layer on and the cream which I'll show you in a second but look at that the biscuit base the caramel and the lovely chocolate on top and it really tastes so nice
Right, I'm just going to whip up some cream. This is optional, you don't have to do this. So as you can see, I've got a piping bag, a disposable piping bag is much easier. I've got a nozzle on the end, and I'm just going to put some whipped cream into the bag. Bit of a messy job, but it'll be worth it. As I said, you don't have to go to all this trouble, you can make it quite plain. So you can decorate with a few Smarties. Then I have some flake here. I'm just going to crumple that into a bowl. And then I'm just going to simply sprinkle some of the flaky bits over the cream. Just a nice way of decorating. And the beauty of cooking this in a non-stick frying pan is it's so easy to clean. You Once it's starting to harden a little bit and it's starting to cool down, you literally just scrape it like this and it comes off. It's so easy to clean. Look at that. Don't do it with a metal spoon, of course, because you'll take your non-stick away. If you're doing it with a wooden spoon, it will all come off. And then, of course, with the last little bit, you can eat it. <laughs> you can share it if you want. Thank you for watching this video on how to make a lovely caramel dessert and I look forward to doing more videos. So talk to you soon.